past month, hasn't it been? And as you mentioned, we have a very special lineup of guests all through the day. And first up, we'll put the spotlight on Dixon Technologies and the stock has surged more than 54% this year. And the company recently inaugurated a new manufacturing facility in Noida, which has an annual capacity of 25 million units. Now, to discuss this and more, we are being joined by Mr. Atul Lal, the Managing Director for Dixon Technologies. Mr. Lal, good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon on our very special day. I'd like to start off by asking you about this facility. Can you tell us more uh, and is this the peak capacity of 25 million units that you're expecting? Do you expect more to add on to this in the near future as well? Thanks very much for inviting me and heartiest congratulations on your 25th year of successful execution. Uh, responding to your question, this particular facility that we have set up for smartphones in Noida, it has a capacity of 25 million. Uh, we have three facilities the combined capacity across these three facilities is around 70 million. Uh, please appreciate that the total Indian market is around 150 odd million of smartphones and 70 to 80 million of 2G phones. So that's around 230 million. And the total addressable market for outsourcing, and please appreciate that we are outsourcing companies around 140 to 150 million. So we're already at 50%. Uh, in case there is more visibility of an order book, which is already very healthy, then definitely we will not hesitate in expanding more capacity. Okay, all right. So you are looking at expanding capacity, of course, uh, depending on the demand that you get as well. Uh, Mr. Lal, always a pleasure speaking with you. Uh, you know, you have uh, given a guidance of FY24 volumes, which could be around 3.6 to 3.7 million units. Does it consider all the capacity expansions that you have in place in quarter three, quarter four? There are a number of uh, plans coming up, or I would say product expansion plans that you have in place. So I think your question pertains to a consumer electronics uh, domain. Yeah, so that's mainly for televisions. The television volumes are going to be somewhere around this range. Let's see how quarter four pans out. Uh, but that's our internal budget number for televisions, around 3.5 to 3.6 million units. In the case of mobiles, the volume is much, much larger. We are hitting a volume of almost five, five and a half million units per month. Mr. Lal, the last time you spoke to us, you mentioned that your mobile order book is pretty healthy. Can you put a number to that? And uh, I'd also like to add by asking you that you may also mentioned that you're going to start exports for Nokia. What is the timeline that you could share with us for the same? When is it likely to commence? So order book for mobiles undoubtedly is very healthy. Uh, we've had uh, a couple of major customer acquisitions for which this new facilities uh, has been set up. Uh, some more customer acquisition are in works. Hopefully, we should be able to conclude them in the forthcoming quarter. That's Q4 of this fiscal. Uh, we are glad to announce and share with the stakeholder that Nokia exports has already started. Uh, the consignments uh, are getting shipped out of the country uh, from December itself. Yeah, so that has already oh. started. Okay, all right. So consignment to Nokia has already started exports in that particular segment. Uh, we'll ask you more questions on exports, but Mr. Lal, I had to ask you on the ODM mix. In quarter two, uh, you did see margins expanding across most of the segments, except for security systems and lighting. Uh, this was led by higher ODM mix. Can you give us a sense of what ODM to OEM mix be, say, two to three years down the line, and what would that do to your margin profile? So, uh, ODM in absolute terms, is going to increase very significantly. And we offer our own solutions, mainly in televisions, lighting, uh, washing machines, and the new product category that we are about to launch in a month or so of refrigerators. We are also working on telecom devices, wherein we would be owning the IP and offering our own solutions. However, at the same time, the largest trigger of growth for us is mobiles. And we're also pursuing IT products, which is prescriptive manufacturing. So in absolute terms, I reiterate the ODM revenues are going to substantially increase. But as a percentage, uh, I think the prescriptive part, the EMS part is going to be much larger portion. Mr. Now Lala, responding to the Please carry on, on, margin, on the security surveillance systems, uh, it was primarily because of shifting 
uh, our facilities to a new campus in Kupurthi. Uh, please be rest assured that the operations in Kupurthi have stabilized and margin will be restored from the current quarter itself. The order book looks very decent. In the case of lighting, the market is, uh, demand is fairly slow. So I think it's going to take some time. Mr. Lal, one final question from my end. You mentioned in your previous answer that there are some customer acquisitions that are in the works. Would you be happy to share some names? Are you in talks with any particular customer who, whose acquisition would you close in the fourth quarter? So these are large global brands. Uh, I request just be a bit patient, let it conclude, and then we'll share all the details. Okay, all right. Uh, we'll do that, Mr. Lal. But thank you so much for joining us today on our special day and uh, talking to us about Dixon Technologies and the plans going ahead as well. Thank you so much and heartiest congratulations on 25th year once again. All the best. Thank you so much. Thank you for being a part of uh, this journey. With that, we'll slip into a short break. Uh, Parminder Chopra, Power Finance Corporation, will join us to discuss their business outlook and the quarter gone by. So stay tuned for that. CNBC TV 18, embarking on a quarter century of excellence.